Nearly 30 Planet Fitness locations have received bomb threats since a customer was banned for raising concerns about a transgender gym goer shaving in the women's locker room. Police received reports of bomb hoaxes in at least 28 gyms in 11 states, going from Connecticut through Alaska. No bombs were ever found, but the threats have forced dozens of businesses to evacuate. The first Planet Fitness to be targeted was one in Fairbanks, Alaska, where Patricia Silva was suspended for taking a photo of someone shaving in the women's locker room. She said it in a video posted online on March 13th. She raised the alarm because she felt unsafe at seeing a transgender person she claimed had a penis near a girl who she said could have been 12 years old. He doesn't like his gender, so he wants to be a woman, but I'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom. The gym franchise said in the aftermath that its policy allows members to use the facilities that, quote, best aligned with their sincere self-reported gender identity and claimed Silva actually violated a policy against taking photos of individuals in the locker room, resulting in her suspension. Just two days later, multiple businesses received an email stating that bombs were placed inside the Planet Fitness in Alaska. The email said there was an intent to blow up the building, but police did not actually find anything inside the gym and declared that it was, quote, focus. As outrage spread online, though, Dozens more Planet Fitnesses were targeted with fake threats, including at least four in Rhode Island, four in Mississippi, six in Michigan, three in Alabama, three in Florida, one in Virginia, one in Maryland, and one in Kansas. Three gyms in Connecticut also received bomb threats in Norwich, East Haven, and Hamden.